Hey guys, Grotto one here. So uh, today we're going to make a video about uh, exhaust header collectors. And uh, the collector is the, uh, the end piece on the header which joins the four pipes together. And we want to have a look at uh, what is that collector doing? Is it just there to join the pipes together so that you can put a, a muffler on it? Uh, or is, does it have some science behind it? And uh, that's uh, particularly what I'm interested in is uh, having a look at the science behind it. So let's go uh, have a look. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate what a header does using clear plastic hose and some water. You can see the water level right in there and uh, some compressed air and uh, a little, uh, little uh, kind of a homemade uh, collector here made out of cardboard. So let's, uh, I'm going to take these three pieces here now and I'm going to fasten them to the long piece of hose and then we're going to have another look at it. Okay, so um, I got those three short pieces attached here now so we've got kind of a header look here at the end and one of them is the long one with the water in it and the three are just short. So uh, let's do step one of our testing now. Okay guys, uh, now what I want you to do is keep an eye on this water level as I blast air inside one of these short pieces of hose. So uh, probably nothing will happen now, but this is only uh, test one. So there is a very slight rise in the water level uh, as I uh, put air inside one of the hoses that's beside it. Now let's put the collector on it and let's try it again. Okay, so um, I've got that collector on there now, that little fancy piece of cardboard. And if you look in there, that's basically what a header looks like on the inside. You see the four pipes and they're wrapped by the collector and uh, joins them all together. Now let's do uh, step two of our testing. Okay, so uh, now what I want you to do is keep an eye on the water level again and also watch the end of the collector and uh, see if you see the water being drawn out the top. So uh, I put the air hose on there and uh, you just keep an eye on it and tell me what happens. So there you have it. Um, this fancy collector actually worked pretty good. If this was a real header, uh, the same thing would be happening. Uh, each cylinder fires at a different time and uh, the one that's ahead of it and entering the collector helps to scavenge the exhaust gases from the one that's behind it and, uh, and they all take turns. So then ultimately you pull more exhaust from the, the uh, cylinders allowing more uh, room for air fuel which ultimately builds more power. So this is called the uh, this is called the Bernoulli effect. I think that's how you say it. Is that how you say it? Oh, so now you want my help. First you unplug my guitar just because you're making a video. Now you, whatever. I'm a little busy here. Man, can't count on that guy for anything. Your guitar is out of tune, by the way. So I was also going to show you the uh, collectors that are on my race car. You can see here that the, uh, the collector there, uh, where you see where the weld is right here? Well, it actually gets smaller right there. So um, you can imagine if a, if a collector helps to make power, then if your collector is efficient, then it's going to make even more power. So and that's what's happening here. Uh, this collector, it's thin there, uh, develops uh, more airspeed and uh, helps to extract more from the uh, the ones that haven't fired yet and I'll show you the inside of this collector also okay let's have a look in there uh, you can see where the pipes join together uh, there's a there's a nicely fabricated little cone shape right there in the middle and uh, that helps to uh, get the, the airflow uh, more efficient faster and then right here is where it necks down and then uh, exits here. So, uh, you know, it all helps. Every little bit is uh, a plus.